Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. It's summer here in the UK, but that doesn't guarantee that it's going to be dry in any way, shape or form. In fact, every other day, we're probably going to see four seasons in one day. So I need to make sure if I'm out and about, I have the right equipment with me, the right kind of coat to make sure I'm warm and dry. It's a little too warm at the moment to be wearing my big bulky winter coats. So I need to go for something lighter. In the past, I've gone for the kind of shell type jacket. The problem I've had with that is even the commercial ones that claim to be breathable don't seem to be as breathable as I would like them. For example, I've been out on walks and you can see in my previous videos, the type that I used to wear, sort of a, a, a gray um, windproof, waterproof shell. I would often get drenched and I'm not talking like a little sweaty under the armpits here. I'm talking about fully drenched where I had to dry my clothes off by the fire on arrival at my camp. So I got kind of put off by the, the shell kind of idea, but it's a great model because shells essentially are lightweight, waterproof and windproof covers that you can wear. So they pack down really small and can be carried with you without too much bulk and without getting in your way too much. So I decided to invest in the British Army Gore-Tex MTP lightweight jacket and all of those condensation problems, all of those sweat problems, the lack of breathability is all gone. Let me talk you through the benefits and let me show you the features. The first thing to mention is that this is British Army issue. So it's meant for the guys and gals in the forces and it's going to stand up to a lot of rigor. It's current PCS issue and it is MTP pattern, multi-terrain pattern. And that essentially means that uh, it's meant for a diverse array of environments to help keep you concealed. It is Gore-Tex material. I will talk a bit more in depth about Gore-Tex material, but the bullet points for it are it will not allow water-based things in, liquids, but it will allow gases out. We're not talking about those type of gases, we're talking about um, water vapour, condensation, it will allow to escape so you don't get drenched through. Another thing that helps you not get drenched through is the full length waterproof zip and it goes all the way down. Uh, it's going to stop any water from getting in there. Right here we have a rank tab, not something we're going to use for civilian life, but these are genuine army issues so it needs to be used in the location where it is actually designed for. On the arms we have a bellows pocket on each side. Each one is angled, it's angled slightly down so you're not having to go in at this awkward angle at the top here. Equally it's not horizontal and your stuff isn't going to fall out so it's at the optimum angle to be able to get things and also stop your things from falling out and there's one of those on each side. Also on each side we have zips. Here we've got one that I've undone earlier to allow some ventilation. It's essentially ventilation zip on that zip on that side. There's one done up on this side so you can see what it's like when it is closed and it has a toggle on the end for easy access, easy grabbing. On the wrists there are Velcro closings that will enable you to lock down to your specific wrist size to stop any kind of uh, water or wind ingress. On the base here, I'll try and show you guys, there are two drawstring toggles and they're, they're kind of like a, a shock cord. Uh, and there's one each side so that you again can cinch it down to make sure that you're not getting any water about your person. If you're wearing um, a sort of clothing that you want to keep inside the jacket to keep keep dry and it's a bit longer than the jacket or it's bulkier than the jacket that will help keep everything underneath the jacket. Inside we have a fleece, well not all the way through but around the collar we have a fleece material that is very nice for actually keeping warm, staying warm around the neck, it's quite nice now uh, but it's also very comforting as well, I know that sounds very strange but it's just very nice and comfortable. Uh, inside the actual jacket itself all of the seams are uh, taped so again, more, more um, wind and water protection for you. Of course, as I've mentioned, this is genuine British Army issue. So it is strong and durable. This is what the guys wear when they're out and about in the combat field. So you know it's going to stand up to the test of time. And it's pretty thick. The Gore-Tex that I see in the shops, it doesn't seem to be quite the same as the military grade Gore-Tex and I just think it's a lot better and it's going to last me a lot longer. 
Of course, the Gore-Tex, it's a breathable material. It's quite a cool, interesting thing. It's like magic when you first see it. The way that Gore-Tex works, um, I think it was developed in the 60s, um, it is a single piece of fabric, and it has pores all the way through it. Those pores will only allow through vapour. So gases, water vapour, things like that can move through this, this fabric quite freely. But larger molecules like water cannot get through. That's why it's waterproof on the outside, but still enables your, your uh, body to let off all of the condensation, all of the vapour that it generates inside of the jacket. The great thing about these types of shell lightweight jackets is that they can be rolled down to next to nothing. They don't have hardly any bulk to them. They're manoeuvrable, so they're not a rigid form even when they're rolled down. And they, they, they don't have much weight to them either. So you can just pop it into your backpack, into your day sack or your day pack, and it doesn't take up hardly any space. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. So if you go out and it's a beautiful sunny day and you don't need to take it out, then you don't feel like you've wasted some necessary space that could have brought something else with you. The other great thing about this type of a jacket is that it doesn't need to be the outer layer. Now, you may remember the uh, MTP uh, smock that I made a video on. In fact, I'll place up a little video there to remind you. That's a great jacket and he's very water resistant in fact. It claims not to be waterproof. Um, while I don't think it's waterproof, it does resist the rain very well. If I were to place this on first, like I'm wearing it now, and then place my smock over it, essentially, I can remain dry. Yes, my smock will get wet eventually if it's pouring down with lots and lots of rain for a prolonged period. But that water, even though it gets to the inside of the smock, won't be able to get any further than what I'm wearing here. So that's another option for you. You can have it as a, essentially an internal liner to keep yourself dry. The other thing to mention is the actual pattern. This is going to keep you camouflage it's going to help you hide and stay unseen when you're out in the wilderness you won't be bothered by pesky people coming to see what you're up to because they simply won't know you're there this is the only waterproof and weatherproof jacket i've ever had where i haven't been out for a day taken off my jacket and been drenched in my own sweat this is the kind of quality that i've come to expect from british army issue materials and i haven't been let down here the british army mtp lightweight jacket strong, durable, and ready to jump into action when the weather changes on you. Buy this and more at meanandgreen.com.